Okay, like I said, you know, payment is a uh, AP basic platform that offers uh, uh, solutions in digital biking, payment infrastructure, and car solutions throughout the Americas. Yeah, it's our focus at the moment. Our model, our SaaS software as a service model, is based on modular solutions, allowing fintech, uh, issuers, acquirers, and other players to, to enable payments, tokenization, cards, and even, even built an entire digital bank. Yeah? We offer fully scalable solutions, and of course, that we want to unlock growth potential uh, and satisfaction uh, in communities uh, worldwide. Yeah? So our developer hub uh, is based in, our team of developer hub is based in Colombia. Uh, this is Sebastian Gomez, who is speaking. Uh, Juan and Santa is our Scrum Master. We have uh, Marco Mayor as Debs uh, Backend Senior, and William Leon um, as Debs Senior Frontend. Yeah? And of course, we uh, have some internal promoters that uh, allow us uh, to make better our developer hub, yeah? uh, like architecture team, uh, API management team. Uh, this, we have uh, Luis, Fabian, Fredrin, that uh, he supports us establishing and guarantee some standards that can uh, allow that uh, documentation API reference have uh, the congruence with the real solution, yeah? And of course, uh, our developer uh, hub is connected with our AP management, yeah? Uh, we have other promoters uh, like business team, uh, commercial team that uh, allows uh, us to understand how is important uh, each day for or for now uh, for each client, each future user, understand the solution, uh, test the solution, make maybe a test drive for uh, before to implement or contract our solution. Yeah, and uh, of course we have the product squads. We uh, manage different Scrum teams, uh, and the Scrum teams make and develop solutions in our different categories or use cases. Yeah, so uh, we potential the uh, product squads to make a uh, content, documentation, guides, videos, and everything to uh, offer a better understanding of our products, yeah? And uh, of course, our copywriter that uh, help us uh, in, a, in, in terms of uh, writing uh, terms, everything, to guarantee the best uh, experience and the best understanding uh, of our users, yeah? As a as developer hub team, we have a mission and we have a vision. As a mission, we have the fa uh, facilitated the integration and management of uh, AP products, 100% so, uh, digital channels, reducing cost, implementation, time, implementation times, and guaranteeing the best experience, yeah? And of course, as a vision for a future, we want to make all uh, in a 100 sort of management way uh, for tracing maybe a little bit uh, the, the software as a service value offer, yeah. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, our, developer, our developer hub uh, may be maybe born in a little way for facilitate some reading, understanding of our first users or, or of, of our users, something like this. But uh, in the way that we evolve, uh, create more solutions uh, and everything like this, uh, maybe the navigation, the management and everything with a developer hub maybe become more complex, yeah? So for this reason, we decide to do user research and we learn directly from our user, yeah? We have an internal user that, will, of course, are our product squads, uh, product owners, uh, and different people in the organization. And uh, we have the external users that are, that are uh, the people that uh, are integrating and looking for the solutions in our developer hub, yeah? So we decide to make this research with 
some uh, analytics with some interviews, uh, some surveys, and we uh, built uh, prototypes of maybe some new developer hubs. We make some maybe testing with uh, the users to guarantee the best experience in, in our new developer hub. Yeah. Uh, we got some learning and feedback in our developer hub. Uh, in external users, uh, they have a little pains in terms of usability, navigation, uh, needs of integration tools, uh, API, referen API reference uh, in a standard, a uh, use of sandbox that we have a sandbox or we had a sandbox, but the people can find it in the in the past. So this was a little uh, learning, some feedback that we can get of our users. And as much as other developer hubs, we, we used to have a larger menu in the live site, but uh, the, the user that uh, are looking for a specific solution uh, maybe don't get the information in a in a scan way uh, so so quickly yeah so we have uh interesting feedback of our users yeah at the same time we decide uh, to research a little bit in terms of uh, other tools other developer hubs uh, and maybe get an analysis yeah so in this analyze uh, we use some some tools like readme like stablight like apmatic and something like this and finally uh, we uh, maybe decided uh, to implement on our way why because uh, we focus uh, in our users yeah and in, when we talk with our users, we can understand that uh, there are some functionalities that uh, already have our developer hub uh, that is uh, that generates value for these users. Yeah? But uh, if maybe we um, contract or implement third parties, other tools, we can lose a little bit this, the connection with the user, the administration, the manager with the user, the contact, so we decide uh, to evolve our developer hub with some uh, learnings of these tools of other developer hubs and of course of our users. And we uh, deploy our uh, new developer hub in June. Yeah, in this de new developer hub, we make a new usability and menus in new categories. And when we say new categories, uh, we can see in some in some developer hubs or portals that we talk about categories, but uh, the reality is that the user uh, wants to know is the use case. Yeah, so we category the APIs and solution in our use cases, and uh, we make an full migrations uh, of all of our old uh, AP reference to a new standard open. API 3.0, yeah? Uh, we enable new sandbox experience, uh, we enable new forum, and we enable uh, the versioning of this documentation, yeah? In addition, then we make uh, a new home focus on the user that uh, the user can understand in the first scan of three seconds uh, what uh, they can find in the in our home, in our developer hub, yeah, uh, we make some a uh, new garage star section that is videos uh, that explain step by step in a short way uh, how to use and integrate uh, our APIs, and uh, we enable some uh, feedback tools, a uh, heat map, analytics events to uh, learn a little bit more about uh, how uh, the users are using our developer hub, yeah. Uh, in the next day of these releases, we can get a little feedback in the navigation of uh, the, the people in head map and recordings. So we can uh, fix and adjust a little bit uh, some details that uh, we can discover here. Yeah? And um, 
coming soon. We are working uh, in our language tour uh, that, uh, as we said, we are focused a little bit in Americas. So we need, uh, or we have um, uh, some clients that maybe can understand uh, so easy a documentation in English. So we are working to have a, a fully uh, Spanish version with documentation, guides, uh, videos, everything in Spanish too, in uh, our developer hub uh, for the next month. Okay, so one thing uh, that uh, maybe can be some important in, in our process, uh, before we used to have some spots that they uh, update our documentation, then they um, give us uh, the documentation, we validate, we update a YML file, and then we update in the developer hub production here. Uh, now, uh, each squad is owner of the documentation as the solution here. Yeah? So we manage a standard of uh, documentation, maybe as a code. So we uh, reduce operational risk in uh, copy and paste uh, the samples or something like this. The certification is fully uh, agreed and in, in congruence with the certification of the solution. And each squad have the power to uh, create new guides, create new information for the potential solution, but of course have a, a standards and a guarantee that uh, the final product, that is the documentation that uh, the developer gonna see, uh, it's certified by the QA with uh, all the team here. Yeah? Uh, just uh, a little bit metrics and feedback that we use. Uh, to be monitoring the visit per page, uh, the ribbon percent uh, we have in in our manage of um, developer of that is that is Drupal. We uh, can see the new users, how much are active users, and uh, in terms of a uh, hot jar that we use, uh, we are uh, so focusing in terms of heat map uh, on monitoring. Uh, the top clicks, how is the navigation, how is the interaction, what is our average uh, time on page, and of course, the range clicks that uh, can maybe give us a little feedback of uh, what maybe the, the user doesn't understand in the documentation, yeah? And uh, as a feedback, we use some uh, communications to, of course, we uh, launch a new future, so we uh, communicate that we launch a new future, and then uh, we make some surveys, uh, how, it, how it works, how is the experience, yeah? And we have a real-time uh, feedback, uh, feedback tool with uh, Hotspot in, in the de developer hub, in experience of the de developer hub, and in AP reference, yeah? So we have some uh, great results. Of course, uh, we are still working to make every day better, but uh, I think that's great. In, and in terms of onboarding, uh, we have a simplified start point. You can find anything of the developer hub in one click. You can uh, explore before commit, that is uh, maybe other developer hubs, you have to register and then you enable the option to create a project or something like this. In our discovery and in our service, we detect that sometimes the people doesn't get a why I'm registering yet. Yeah? So we enable uh, all functionalities like teams, projects, credentials in the menus, but of course uh, at the moment of use, you have to register or login, but uh, at least you know why are you doing this here. Yeah? Uh, the get start section, uh, discover, visualize, uh, everything you need to get the maximal potential of your, of your developer, of the developer hub. Um, we have detailed guides, uh, real-time and online registration of projects. You can uh, register and 
uh, create a project fully online and get a sandbox and UIT or credential of production online. Yeah. Uh, if maybe I can show you a little bit. Can you see my uh, screen yet? Yes, we can. Okay, so uh, uh, we have, like I said, some use cases as categories, and uh, everyone have a description. Uh, we have a quick access of each category, a get started section that have uh, videos uh, that explain the process. It may be you want a, a register, uh, a token, everything about this, yeah? Uh, we have, uh, if you want, maybe a uh, login. Uh, and in the login, we explain in uh, five steps uh, so quickly, why are you logging, why are you registered, and what uh, you can do in the, in the login, yeah? Uh, in this case, uh, for internal uh, people, for internal uh, users, we have a login of Nova Payment that is fully automatic. And for externals, maybe you can register. Uh, in uh, three accounts or something like this. And uh, create your your account. Yeah. Uh, you're going to receive a mail. Uh, in the mail, you can create the uh, or enable or active the the account. And uh, give me a second. Maybe before logging, as I said, uh, you can see that I have the the option of create a project, managing my projects, creating projects, and everything about this uh, without logging. Yeah. Now I'm logging. Uh, I can go to dashboard, uh, manage my teams, or create a team. Uh, Just add the team. Once I add a team, I can create projects, uh, invite members. Uh, maybe if I'm working with other people, I can uh, send an invitation and these people can get the same credentials that uh, I'm going to get. And when I create a team project, I can uh, select the APIs that uh, I'm looking for. Yeah? So you can see that uh, I already have uh, my credentials, my tenant, my client ID, my client secret. I can and I can use in the in the sandbox. In our documentation guides, like I said, we have a uh, resources like guides to a uh, how how I can uh, or what I can do in the AP reference. So we explain how you can uh, export the YML file. Uh, in documentation, how you can use the sandbox, how you can you uh, get the request sample in different language, uh, request yeah, uh, response samples, uh, everything about the documentation. We have all guides to guarantee the best onboarding here. Yeah? And if maybe I don't know how to create a project, I can just search and I get, can get some information guides, AP reference, and everything about uh, register and create a project. Uh, for addition, uh, our developer hub have uh, all permissions in documentation guides uh, or content to custom uh, maybe 
some uh, information for internal users, some information for external users, um, and maybe some teams uh, wants to see some APIs in one category or menus, menus can show uh, the information and APIs that you have uh, enabled with the permissions. Yeah? There are other teams that maybe have more permissions and have preferable access for other APIs. Yeah? And of course, the, the feedback tool. So, uh, so for finish, uh, if you want to maybe uh, visit us, contact sales, uh, contact the developer hub, you can do it uh, right here. Thank you, Sebastian, also for jumping in so quickly. Uh, and thank you for the presentation, uh, the tour of the portal. And there is um, one um, quick tooling question from Chris. Uh, what do you use for the mouse heat maps, uh, the user mouse heat maps? What tool? Okay, we are using, we connect our developer hub with a uh, Hotjar. Uh, and we're monitoring in Hotjar the heat maps. Okay, thank you. And the other one is a bit uh, longer from Jackie. Um, uh, the answer may be, how often do you deploy uh, documentation content updates? And if you do that often, how do you handle the regular updates with uh, Spanish? Okay, uh, I maybe forget it, but uh, in the process of uh, update documentation of the new doc content, uh, we have a developer hub um, environment to certify. So you can uh, create the documentation as a markdown, as a YML file or something like this. You update the documentation. One minute later, you have in the test a uh, developer hub the, the information, the documentation, the QI and product owner are squad can certify and then just make the merge. Two minutes later, the information is in production, yeah? And uh, this is uh, the, the, uses, the usage that we have in uh, versions in English and in Spanish, yeah? So in the next month that we finish uh, the migration to in Spanish too, we enable the, the Spanish version with all documentation. Thank you very much. Um, okay.